Hey, thanks for joining me in the park today. Um, hope you're all doing well. In this video, I'm gonna share some photos, uh, share some videos that I had from the 1990s and 2000s. Uh, these are things that made Tucson and still make Tucson a unique place to live and visit. Uh, I'm gonna share some photos of things under construction, such as the, what is now the Aerospace and Mechanical Engineering Building in uh, U of A. I'll also show you some of the things that you won't find in Tucson anymore, such as 69 cents per pound grapes. Uh, what a thing. Uh, and if you do find this video to be an A+, plus, uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate the support. All right, so let's get started with uh, this video of Park, uh, what well, called the Park Mall in the 90s, but then it's, uh, renovated to now Park Place, uh, which is supposed to be, you know, a much nicer version of the mall that once was. Uh, in this one, you still see the uh, Sears uh, in the background over there. Uh, what would form to be the new um, food court. Uh, there was like a Borders bookstore that ended up opening there. Um, what would be like a Starbucks in that area. And then the old Broadway uh, mall entrance, or mall entrance that was near the Broadway. Uh, now Macy's. Uh, so going closer, yeah, this is the Sears. That would be the Borders, which no longer is a thing either. Uh, at this time, I don't believe Dillard's um, was there yet. You would have to go to the Tucson Mall if you wanted to go to Dillard's. Uh, but they did have a Broadway uh, on the right side, which you can't see behind. I believe this is like a Red Lobster. Uh, but yeah, you can't see the Broadway, which would become Macy's. And on the other side, I uh, would become Dillard's. Uh, if we go down to the across the street, uh, I'll pause right here. There's actually a movie theater that was once across the street from the Park Mall. This was actually the nice one. Uh, there was a pretty sketchy movie theater that used to be on the other side of the Park Mall. Not the Century. Uh, I forget what it was called though, but it was next to the Broadway and I remember like cars would just get broken into all the time if you were to watch a movie. Okay, now, so nice. So here's the, a uh, year later, after they renovated, uh, there's Macy's. And yep, there is the new Dillard's. Uh, and for Arizona, you know, Dillard's is a pretty nice place to go to. Uh, and if you look over here, you'll probably remember the good old silo audio and video store. Uh, now everyone probably just goes to Best Buy. Uh, there was also a Circuit City, which I don't have any photos of anymore, but that would be right on, I think, Broadway and Craycroft. Oh, and here's our ride, by the way. Speaking of 90s, y'all remember Saturn? Ah yes, Saturn from the 90s. Cool cars, uh, except when you realize they were from GM, you realize that they weren't good cars. Um, okay, but nothing like actually looking at all these thunderstorms though. Brings me back, I miss uh, the monsoons. Uh, yeah, but yeah, we just drive just through stretches and stretches of deserts. Um, at the time, we lived in Rita Ranch, which you know was considered you know just way on the south southeast part of town. Uh, of course, now it's a whole basically little town of its own. Uh, but if you wanted to get like groceries or even need to get like gas, you would have to go into you know Tucson again. And we were really excited when we saw this Diamond Shamrock finally opening up on the corner of Colb and Valencia. Uh, now I believe it is a Valero, or at least it was a Valero when I moved uh, out of Tucson like 10 years ago. Uh, but this is a huge. But if you need to get groceries, uh, if you need to go to a restaurant, uh, go to the mall, yeah, you are going at least, you know, 15, 20 minutes back into town uh, to go somewhere. And speaking of going places, if you did want to travel, uh, one of your favorite airlines is probably America West Airlines. Uh, I bet any one of my Tucson folks has flown America West uh, if you've lived there. Um, they actually were a pretty good airline. They even had some cool planes, uh, such as this Phoenix Suns um, plane. They had like a D-Bax plane. Uh, then I believe they became like US Airways, which we never heard of at the time. So we never really flew them. So then we went to like, uh, I think Delta United, which uh, if you ever want to fly these bigger carriers, all you got were these little commuter planes that would shuttle you to a hub. Although these Boeing 737 200s, uh, these are pretty dope planes. Um, you also, I think, had an option for Southwest in Tucson, but these routes are pretty limited. So we would take this to go to like San Diego, um, but that would be pretty much all we'd take uh, Southwest for. Reno Air though, if you've again lived in Tucson, you've at least uh, have taken Reno Air once or twice because uh, this really expanded some of our places in the West Coast to go to. Uh, if you actually are big into airplanes, I think you would love uh, just being close to the Air Force Base. So this is one of the uh, F-Series jets. Uh, beautiful desert sunsets. Uh, but yeah, 
uh, Davis Monthan has like this huge um, storage facility called a boneyard of aircraft. And this is still one of the world's largest boneyards with uh, I believe now over 3000 aircraft, uh, tons of A-10s. I remember uh, seeing uh, parked there. Uh, this plane I actually have no idea what this plane is, but I remember there was one month uh, in the middle of 20, sorry, 20, uh, 2001, where we just saw all these unique airplanes just uh, flying by our house. Uh, yeah, so this is just our house in Reno Ranch and we are right in the path, uh, the flight path of all these uh, planes that would just take off and land uh, to get to Davis Monthan. Yeah, great if you're a plane spotter, uh, but if you're trying to get some sleep, uh, say at like 7 a.m. on a Saturday, uh, nothing like being woken up by a good old F uh, series uh, jet just flying right by your uh, bedroom window. Yeah, and that makes every other passenger jet seem almost silent in comparison. It was really cool seeing this radar aircraft uh, flying by. And if anyone actually that um, knows any of these aircraft, uh, feel free to drop them in the comments because I don't want uh, to just speculate or just guess. I'd love to hear uh, from those of you who actually know or may have actually flown some of these uh, aircraft, uh, what these type are. Uh, ah, yes, good old Mervins. Uh, of course, this was more of a California brand, but again, this was a spot to go to before Kohl's was a thing in Tucson. Uh, this photo was taken on Broadway and Craycroft, I want to say. So this is basically the Circuit City parking lot, which again is also a place that doesn't exist anymore. Apco Foods, uh, or in this case, one of the fancier desert markets. Uh, this was one of our family's favorite places to go shopping. Uh, this location was the one in Tanca Verde. Uh, but in Rita Ranch, so remember I told you that we had to go to the store or go to the city to get groceries? Well, when the one in Rita Ranch finally opened, that was a big deal for us. Uh, now it is a Safeway, of course, so you won't see Apcos anymore, nor will you see grapes for 69 cents. And once upon a time, the U of A football team was actually pretty competitive. Uh, now, we, we remember great when I went to college, uh, which was between 2004 through 2008, but we at least had some pretty good games. Uh, the one that I remember the most was in November of 2007, and that's where uh, we actually knocked off the number two uh, Oregon Ducks at the time. Uh, yeah, really, really fun game to attend. Uh, but yeah, our team wasn't ever great, but they were darn fun. <laughs> And since my time going to college, again, I graduated 2008, uh, downtown has changed a ton as well. Uh, this is when I visited again uh, last year in 2022. I went with my wife, uh, we actually went to El Charo, and I'd never been there uh, when I'd lived there, but I was like, you know what, let me finally go to El Charo. Great restaurant, uh, by the way. Yeah, I wish I would have gone sooner, like 10, 20 years ago. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, downtown scene way different. Uh, thankfully though, Club Congress or uh, Hotel Congress uh, is still there. That was one of my favorites. Uh, but yeah, I was like walking around looking at these bus stations or light rail stations. I'm like, man, that would have been nice having uh, like 15 years ago when it was hot as heck and we had to walk out there. Uh, the street boards still look the same though. I love those very just wide, unique looking sign boards. Uh, Shay's Lounge, still alive and well. I remember the dollar PBR nights that they had there. Oh yeah, trash. Should have just had the water. Uh, a little bit sad that Playground uh, Lounge is closed. Granted, this was not something that had been there very long. I believe it just opened in like the 2011, uh, 2012 uh, years when I went out there. But that was a fun spot. Oh yes, I got to see one of my friends, uh, Wes, uh, and his band uh, music video play at Plush. And that's a place that you probably are familiar with. Uh, when we went there, it changed its name, I think, to its Flycatcher Bar now. But Plush was the name of the venue we went there. So good spot for music. Uh, if you like to hang out in downtown, this is a spot that I would recommend. Hopefully it's still cool uh, going to. Uh, and yes, the Tiki Head. Uh, pardon my shaky video, I'm about to 
break it down a little bit right here. <laughs> But yeah, if you were a kid growing up in Tucson back in the day, you remember that Tiki Head being at the Magic Carpet Golf. Uh, that was definitely my vibe. Uh, I know some of the, like, the cool kids uh, would go to like golf and stuff, but I'd be like, no, Magic Carpet Golf is where we would go to good times. Uh, Sinbad's, pretty good restaurant for Mediterranean food. Uh, this is near the U of A campus off of University Boulevard. Uh, so I just love how unique these uh, buildings still are, and there is a Starbucks uh, here as well. And then across the street, you have more of the modern stuff, uh, like the Payway. Ah, uh, yes, and the Starbucks at 22nd and Kolb. This is the store that I helped open back in 2004. Uh, this was just during the just insane expansion of Starbucks. Uh, they also opened at Speedway and Wilmot like months later. Uh, so it was a big deal uh, going to Starbucks because it wasn't a thing really uh, in the early 2000s. I could just see just how excited people got when you saw Starbucks. Okay, almost a little bit too excited, all right? Calm down, everybody. It's okay, it's just coffee and frappuccinos. Uh, but yeah, but this was our store, which I believe doesn't even exist anymore. I think they remodeled this 22nd and Club location. And speaking of remodels and relocations, Lindy's Diner, still one of my favorite spots for a burger, uh, but it used to be this small hole in the wall spot um, on another um, side of 4th Avenue, like on the south side of 6th Streets. Uh, great burgers, and whenever I tell people in California about Lindy's, uh, people are just like, wait, what? Wendy's? Like, no, not Wendy's. Lindy's Burger. Try it out. Okay, I get it. This picture looks pretty boring. Nothing going on here, really. Uh, but for me, I was kind of excited that they were going to finally uh, redesign the intersection of River and Alvernon. As before, it was just a hot mess. It was congested, so I thought that this intersection would clean things up. It just made things more confusing. Uh, because uh, if you know anything about River right now, it's like if you want to keep going down River, you have to make a left turn. And if you keep going straight, it turns into Alvernon. Uh, so if you don't know that, so if you didn't know that, you'd probably be like, what the heck? I thought I was just on river still. And then you end up finding yourself on Alvernon. So yeah, that's all I got for now. Um, I wish I could cover more, such as EG's, which is a spot that I really miss. Um, out here in California, when I tell people about uh, EG's, they're like, what is an EG's? But you just never, you just never know unless you know, right? Uh, but y'all in Phoenix, you're very welcome, because now you get to experience EG's uh, out there. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you back for another one.